It's time to chat with Matt Lynn, the VP of Community Impact at the United Way of the Battle Creek in Kalamazoo region. It's Impact Week, but what does that mean? Uh, Matt, it's good to have you in. We've had you in before, but I uh, always like seeing you. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me. You today. get here all right? The roads, were they okay? <laughs> the roads were perfectly fine this morning. Yeah, I don't know. Did you have to drive yesterday? I did, just yeah. a little bit, but in town. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky for that. So... Impact Week is the last week of November, um, and it's all week this week. But what what does that mean? Well, Impact Week is an opportunity uh, to focus on United Way's impact in our community and in the lives of people. It's a celebration of our progress, our partners, and most importantly, the people that we benefit. You know, this is our second year that we're actually observing Impact Week. All right. So how do you celebrate it? Well, number one, we highlight our programs and we highlight our partners and the progress that we're having uh, through our communication channels, and that includes daily blogs um, that share our impact in the areas of education, income, health, and basic needs. Um, it also includes social media posts that uh, will provide examples of United Way's platform, um, its staff. Um, the cool thing this year we're also doing is we're also creating a new video series with our CEO, Chris Sargent, that focuses mm -hmm. on our impact work and uh, allows us to spread our word you know, through advertisements, through interviews, opportunities like this, such yeah. as this as well. <laughs> um, but it also gives us an opportunity to encourage people to go to our website, changethestory.org, and uh, to follow us on social media um, at United Way BCKR. Just a great way to be able mm -hmm. to give people uh, a true understanding of who United Way is and the impact that we have. So so what, give, give us an example of something that United Way does in our area that impacts a wide part of the community. Well, I think the, um, when we talk about our overall impact, it starts with understanding our, our data and the outcomes uh, that us, along with our partner organizations, are able to have. So um, on our website, people can find and download what we call an impact report that provides more highlighted data. But just a few examples when we talk about health. Um, as an example, um, some outcomes include having 834 pregnant women and new moms who have been able to receive pre- and postnatal care, mm. um, along with 576 women who have been able to benefit from home visiting programs All right. as well in our area. Um, within our area of income, we've got around 300 people that have benefited through programming to earn workforce credentials and certifications, and over 100 of those have been able to go on and either find a job or be able to get a higher paying job. Mm -hmm. um, in education, we have been able to benefit teachers. About 80% of the teachers who work in schools that uh, we support uh, receiving literacy instruction. Uh, that has increased the high, uh, the uh, performance in terms of proficiency reading for third grade students. Mm -hmm. um, and in basic needs, uh, surprisingly enough, one of those big statistics, uh, nearly three uh, million pounds of food were wow. distributed across our region with another 703,000 meals that were mm -hmm. served to hungry individuals. Um, and 434 individuals were helped to be able to get a state ID wow. um, and a birth certificate. Those vital records mm -hmm. are important if you want to get into support services. And I think sometimes. a lot of people don't realize how difficult it is to get that kind of basic stuff sometimes. And I, right. I noticed in listing off the things that you have done, um, United Way, it's something that most people don't really think about how much you do if they are not one of the people benefiting from your services. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, so it, some people may not realize how much of an impact the United Way has on our area. Mm -hmm. And how uh, when you're the United Way of the Battle Creek in Kalamazoo region, exactly how big of a scope of our uh, southwest Michigan does that cover? Well, that covers population wise. We're talking probably uh, right around 450,000. Okay. People, 400, 450,000 people mm -hmm. um, that exist within our footprint region. Okay. Um, and out of that, that's about 40%, four out of every 10 households is what we look at um, statistically um, that may interface with any of the support services um, that we work with and any of the partner organizations that we have across that mm -hmm. region. So why, why should people care about what you're doing here with Impact Week? Well, first and foremost, people want to know. Uh, they want to know where their charitable dollars are making a difference. Uh, they also want to know 
that organizations like United Way, along with our many other local partner organizations, are driving positive, lasting change. That it isn't just about the temporary here and now. It's how do we build to the future and how do we build that pathway of success mm -hmm. for families and children. And Impact Week is just a way for people to learn more about our impact of the United Way and uh, find a way to be able to engage. We encourage people to connect and engage with the United Way and the work we do as donors, as volunteers, or as both. There's, mm -hmm. there's room for anybody and everybody. Yeah, I mean, if you can't donate your dollars and you really want to help, you can always donate your time. I'm, I'm sure you're always looking. Absolutely, we are. We're talking with Matt Lynn, the Vice President of Community Impact at the United Way of the Battle Creek in Kalamazoo region about Impact Week. So, um, if you failed to notice, last Friday was Black Friday, and last Saturday was Small Business Saturday, and yesterday was Cyber Monday. Today is Giving Tuesday, which is kind of the opposite of everything else, <laughs> because <laughs> unlike, uh, unlike, unlike every other day, Giving Tuesday is not about spending your dollars to get material wealth. It's about <laughs> spending your dollars to help society. And uh, how does Giving Tuesday relate to Impact Week, Matt? Well, first of all, I would say Black Friday for my kids was the impact positive other society. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. But Giving Tuesday um, is a nationwide effort that encourages people uh, to invest some of their gifts after things like Black Friday or Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, uh, the charities that benefit society. And uh, I'm sure probably many people like me found that their inboxes and their emails were getting loaded mm -hmm. this morning before 8 o'clock with uh, certainly opportunities to give. But uh, what we think at United Way is, is that uh, the United Way organization is a sound investment for those gifts. And uh, we think it's sound because we can point to real impact right here in our community uh, because people invest their time and their resources in United Way. And we're able to come on opportunities like this and talk about mm -hmm. what are the results, what are the outcomes. Now, can people see uh, if they were to, to donate to the United Way, can they see where those dollars get spent? They absolutely can. They can look on our website, again, changethestory.org, and you'd be able to find a list of different organizations who are our funded partner agencies, who are recipients of, of those supports, and uh, the other 125 programs that we invest in currently across the mm -hmm. region. So can people, say if, if I were particularly worried about uh, literacy rates, could I say I want my donation to go towards that? That's an opportunity that we do give people if people say that, you know what, I have an affinity or I care about a specific issue and that's where I really mm -hmm. want to direct my money. Um, that's our commitment to do what we can to support uh, donor intent with those dollars. Um, mm -hmm. We also encourage people to give unrestricted because that money goes into a pool of funds then that we help to support mm -hmm. uh, those organizations and those initiatives across our region. So many ways to give, but certainly the encouragement is to give and give generously. To yeah, our region. I would think if you give... If you give with just the intent to give to whatever United Way sees uh, best way to spend that money, it gives you, it, you know that it's going where it's needed the most. Mm -hmm. like, like, like for the example I gave, you could say, well, I want this to go to literacy. And United Way could say, yeah, we'll do that. But we're already, our literacy programs are already pretty decently funded. So maybe we should have that money go somewhere else. And I think those are decisions that the United Way, I think, is pretty good at making. Would I be wrong in saying that? I would agree completely. Absolutely. You know, and I think when if people had that type of question, I would say, you know what, your gift can mean the difference in one more child, one more family, one mm -hmm. more household. Um, and we don't have a shortage of children or families that are certainly in need. Yeah. Um, and this time of year, it certainly becomes a lot more highlighted with people. So uh, we just bend into that generous nature and that generous spirit. People mm -hmm. have to say, one more child, one more family, one more household. Yeah, it's definitely the time when people need to realize that, for example, that horrible, horrible snowstorm we had yesterday, mm -hmm. there's a, there's going to be people who are impacted way worse than you were. I mean, for me, I had to I had to dig my car out of my driveway, which was annoying. But I didn't end up, you know, being stranded and unable to get food for my kids or something. So it's <laughs> it's it's you know what what what's I can't think of the right word, but there's there's people who are in much more uh, dire straits than than most of us are, and the United Way helps them out. Yeah, I call it crisis situations. They come up at the most unexpected yeah, you know, times, and nobody knows when that's going to hit or when you're going to need those support services. That's true also. I mean, I feel like a lot of the people listening and maybe even uh, 
some people uh, in this building maybe might be, you know, just a couple paychecks away from very badly needing the help of someone like the United Way. You are absolutely correct. No one, statement. no one is immune, shall we say, <laughs> from a disaster, and that's, that's why right. these support structures should be in place. So, what are you hoping that people hearing this will do now that they know about Impact Week? It's a great question. Well, first of all, uh, we hope that it increases their awareness and understanding of the challenges that we face in our community um, and how agencies like United Way are working together collaboratively to address them. Uh, next, we hope that uh, people will spread the word, you know, forward our blogs to friends, share our media posts, comment, mm -hmm. um, ask questions. We certainly encourage people to get curious about yeah. who United Way is and want to know more about us. Um, and then thirdly, and probably most importantly, Nico, get involved. You know, make a donation and a contribution. Volunteer your time. Become an advocate. We just had a cadre of new legislators that were elected into mm -hmm. office. You know, call them, write a letter, tell them thank you for their service and time. And now can we talk to you about the things that are important to us as a community? All of those are great opportunities for people to get engaged in Impact Week. All right. And we're talking with Matt Lynn, the Vice President of Community Impact at the United Way of Battle Creek in Kalamazoo for the next few minutes. And uh, just want to reiterate what Impact Week is and how people can get involved if they really want to help the United Way achieve their goals. So Impact Week, it's really, like you said, just a way for people to realize what an impact the United Way has, right? Absolutely. It's an opportunity to raise the bar of awareness and consciousness of who United Way is, mm -hmm. um, how we support families and children, and how we work with other organizations um, within our community in a collaborative fashion in order to engage people mm -hmm. um, and take on most our most serious complex problems in our community and find solutions for families. All right. And so kids. awareness has been raised for our listening audience, at least right. <laughs> people who have been listening. What's mission the next, accomplished. Mission accomplished. What's what is the next step? Now that people know what Impact Week is, know what the United Way does, what can they do to help? Well, the, the encouragement, Nico, certainly is for people to get involved. Um, and that does include, again, they can make a donation and a contribution directly to United Way with the assurity that their contributions will go out to support programs and services. Uh, they can volunteer their time. They can become an advocate um, and work with legislators and raise their voice in terms of issues that are important to them in the community. Um, we encourage people also to go to our website, uh, changethestory.org, and find out more information about United Way, uh, to download our impact report under our impact and have a read through of that, look at the outcomes and look at the issues that United Way is focused on and addressing along with our partner organizations. Um, and this week, especially people to follow us on social media through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at United Way BCKR. Share what you get. Um, it's not information that's just provided for people just to consume themselves, but mm -hmm. it's meant to be shared broadly, and, and certainly we encourage that of folks. All right, so the website, changethestory.org. If people go there, they can make a donation or learn how they can volunteer, right? That is absolutely correct. All right, Matt Lynn, thank you so much for coming in, uh, letting us know about Impact Week. Thank you for having me today. Appreciate it.